Yo, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Hatch Cup and we have a different team to showcase. We're going to be featuring the Lantern paired with the Trevenant and then topping it off with the Clocksire. So we have a okay lead here, not necessarily the best. We really only have one counter to this Charm Nine Tails with the Clocksire. We're going to go for this Surf right here. It does get a shield, which is great for us um, at this point. We're going to stay in and then we're going to just chip away at this uh, nine tails it ends up throwing a move here let's see if it takes us out weather ball resisted but we're so low it does take us out and now we're going to go into our clock center to get a little bit of energy advantage and tank that weather ball right there so we get the farm down energy on clock center with two shields let's see if we can do anything with this they, re they reveal that they have the azumaro in the back azumaro in the back uh, doesn't want to really face the Trevenant. They switch out into the Clocksire. Clocksire does tank a Shadow Ball. Now we're going to shield here. It could be Sludge Bomb, it could be Stone Edge. Either way, we're going to shield this just to keep this Trevenant fairly healthy. And then we're going to go for another Shadow Ball here. It does go through, and now we have to uh, time these Seed Bombs correctly. This next Seed Bomb that goes through will do a good amount of damage, so we're gonna probably get a good shield here. Okay, makes sense. And then we're gonna race to another seed bomb. Unfortunately, we do not get to the seed bomb before they get to the next move. And let's see how tanky this clock star is. We have energy for Earthquake. Earthquake goes through, doesn't quite take it out, but we're trying to race to another move here. Does, oh, the clock star is uh, CAP tie that loses to the um azumaro but luckily we are able to get to a stone inch here it should be enough to take it out and boom goes the azumaro right there so ggs to our opponent right there um trevenant kind of um uh, cleaning up the back line right there probably was the mvp of that match as the clock star did close it but the trevenant did pressure the shields i believe all right next game let's see what we find we got the uh, lantern versus the toxic pack here Let's see if our opponent switches out immediately. They decide to switch out immediately, um, anticipating us having Spark, probably. But we are running the Water Gun a Lantern. We get a shield from it, so that's pretty good. And then we're going to switch out into the Clock Sire. This Clock Sire will have to uh, endure all these Body Slams. Looks like they have enough for another Body Slam right here. Probably anticipating them running the Wild Charge. We don't know their second move right now, so... That's a little bit puzzling, but we're not going to mess around. We're going to go for this Earthquake right here, get some big damage or get a shield. Okay, they decided to let it go, deciding not to go down two shields. Next Body Slam goes through, takes us into low red, and now we're just going to throw this Stone Edge as soon as we have it. This is going to get a KO. Makes sense right there. And now they have the Toxapag. Their Toxapag is going to be able to get some energy advantage. We're going to throw this Stone Edge here just to do some chip. We were not going to be able to get to that Earthquake. Now we're going to go into our Lantern. This Lantern here um, is resisting these water guns quite nicely. We have shield right there. They go for the Brim Bait. And then here we're going to um, throw this Thunderbolt right here. Let's see if they let it go. They, they let it go, but they do get to a move. So this right here will do a good amount of um, chip damage. And they reveal that they have the Gligar in the back. This Gligar here... Um, is going to have a difficult time farming us down, but we are doing as much fast move damage as possible. And we do get to another Surf right here. This Surf right here is huge because it does a ton of damage. And they decide that it is GG's right here. So they decided to leave. So well played right there by the Lantern. The Lantern basically doing most of the damage, taking out the uh, Toxapex and the Glyco right there in the back. All right, next game. Let's see. We got the Lantern versus the Nine Tails again. Let's see if this is Power Snow or Charm. Either way, I think we're staying in. Yep, looks like the Charm Nine Tails is out and about. Go for the Surf right here. This Surf will get a good amount of chip damage, but they decide to shield, uh, signal, signaling that they probably want to win the lead. They go for the Side Shock right there. That's fine. We do survive it. We're going to go for another Surf right here to do some more chip damage. They decide to let it go. And then they switch out into the Pelipper. This Pelipper here um, is a great switch for our team because we don't really want to switch in with our Trevenant and 
Luckily, our clock start does have stone edge capability, so we're going to do our best to uh, get two uh, stone edges. One stone edge goes off right here, does huge damage. We're trying to waste another one. They decide to CAP tie us. That's fine. We're going to let that go. And now we can safely come in with our Trevenant, I believe. Get a one fast move advantage. And let's see if it's, it's going to be able to carry us in the back. Okay, so it ends up being the mirror trevenant they decided to try to catch a move we're gonna farm down the nine tails and now we have two c bombs we're gonna go for a c bomb right here either way even though this c bomb is resisted it it uh does still a significant amount of damage they decide to um shield it but we are able to get to a shadow ball right there for the ko so ggs to our opponent right there um able to win that with the trevenant backline farming town the pelipper and then uh, basically just stacking up energy all against their Trevenant. So that was an interesting team, the Ninetales, Trevenant, and Pelipper. Pelipper with that energy would have been terrible, but luckily we were able to figure it out. Here with the Skarmory, they switch out into the Gligar. Shadow Gligar here is taking significant fast move damage right now. They're going to have to uh, throw a move. They end up throwing the Arrow Ace. Good bait by them. We're going to go for the serve. Certainly going to get a shield. Now we're going to just apply the pressure. We have all these... Um, water guns coming through we're going to double shield right here they go for the arrow ace again and this allows us to go for the farm down at this point we're expecting them to come in with something other than the uh scarberry and they do go into the wish cache okay wish cache is going to be kind of a problem we are going to go with our uh, trevin right here to go for a huge shadow ball almost Almost able to farm it down, but they are able to take us out with the uh, sky attack right there. We're going to decide to come in with the lantern to get that energy farm down. And then we're just going to hope energy on lantern is going to be able to win this game. One surf goes through, they decide to let it go. They are able to get to a mud bomb right here to do some good damage. Luckily, it doesn't take us out, so we're going to be able to get to another surf right here. This surf certainly will get a shield. Okay, makes sense and then we're gonna see they're gonna throw a move but there's they're deciding to farm down that is not great for us let's see if we're gonna be able to get to a move here before they get, get, get to another move mud bomb goes through does a, a huge amount of damage they're gonna go for a scold right here and it does a huge ko so well played right there by that wish cash uh, at the end certainly we are um, not looking forward to which which cash as a, that is a core breaker for our team. All right, next we get the Deep Dragology. Just absolutely dominates the Lantern matchup. And then we're going to switch out into the Clock Star. This Clock Star, at best, can only um, do some uh, Earthquake damage. But they decided to switch out. They chip and dip. They are going to switch into the Annihilate right here. We are going to let this go. It can be a Shadow Ball. Okay, so the Shadow Ball does go through, but we are able to barely survive it. This Stone Edge here does get a shield, so I guess the Clock Star did um, some work as, as we got a shield from our opponent. We're going to decide to let this go because this this energy that Blanchard potentially has was never going to go anywhere. And it looks like the opponent does go for the Toxapec in the bag. This Toxapec is doing some good fast move damage we do get the um charge move to go off right there we're going to shield right here it ends up being the brine bait we're going to farm up to the shadow ball right here and then go for this seed bomb seed bomb does go through to take out the toxic and now we're going to hope that we can get a um shadow ball to go through but they do have a shield so they do not call hero call right there so um that was probably the only win condition is for them to um, hero call and unfortunately like i said lantern just get hard wall by this drug allergy so check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoyed the video